Hey everyone, Michael here for a short Bible review of the Bible that I ordered and received last night. This is the ESV large print wide margin Bible by Crossway Books. A bit of a brief story for this one, particularly for me. I ordered a copy for myself a few months ago to be exact, but back then I was not expecting the impending lockdown to arrive in my country. And eventually enough, it did. I was a bit devastated, but after finally after waiting months and praying about it, it's finally here and hopefully in the right place. Let's have a look at the back. With the features here, you do get huge text size. Um, I think it's going to be easy for the eyes, especially if you're dependent on glasses as well. You do get you get a full color collection of full color maps at the back of the Bible, one ribbon marker, and also the others mentioned above. Also, this is also recommended by many prominent preachers and speakers, as mentioned below. Let's just open it up, give it a go. Now, the size, the weight of the Bible is actually decent. It's going to fit perfectly on your hand. Once you lay it out open, I think you don't really have to worry about the uh, middle section of the binding coming out because of the great quality binding that you received with this particular Bible. And of course, this is the, once again, the ESV large print wide margin Bible by Crossway Books, portfolio design, brown color, true tone. You have the ESV insignia at the side, the English standard version and the Crossway logo with the Holy Bible printed in gold. Now you open a few, the first few pages, you do get these blank, adequate blank notes for you to take notes on. If you love taking notes, I think you're going to enjoy this. Now this is of course the I believe the 2016 edition of the Bible with uh, both, and it, it is, and it's included, it, it has both the Old Testament and the New Testament inside. Talking about the page quality here, I think I like it. I mean, it's not that heavy, it's not that thick, it's not that light as well, but I think it's going to be great enough for someone who likes to take notes on, and you won't quite expect a lot of uh, bleeding perhaps, unless you use thick pens. So for that, I think you have to use particular pens. What I use, I, I use Pigma Migrant pens, and they're really great for note-taking. They're really great also for these little tight spaces that you get in like these Bibles and whatnot. Because of the thin nibs that you receive with these pens, you can actually write down whatever you want in these tight corners. But the thing about how, um, the thing about white margin Bibles is that you get adequate enough space for your notes, especially for this one, we do have one inch of a space on the right side, on both sides rather, of the Bible. Some um, Bibles come with the option of having a single column on both sides, which in fact you do get more spaces or, you know, journaling Bibles where you get a single page after um, another so that you can take lots of lots of notes. Um, but I like this one, I think it's going to last me for the next 20, 30 years, God willing. And uh, what else? Yeah, why did I pick up the ESV translation. Why am I not reading my NIV? Well, of course, I still do, but um, why pick the ESV? Because Particularly because I want to get into in-depth studying of the Bible, and ESV translation is actually a very scholarly Bible. Um, its features are somewhat uh, quite apparent enough. I think you're going to be reliant. You're going to be, it's going to be a reliable translation that you will receive with the Bible. Because the ESV is it's a, an essentially literal translation that seeks um, as far as possible to reproduce the accurate, precise wording of the text, the original text from the New King James, sorry, from the King James Version and also from the older standards. And it also a sort of a modification from the NIV and all the other translations itself. Now, the translation is also quite reliable because you have a lot of scholars you have a lot of preachers writing and contributing to this various, um, to this particular translation. And also with that, I'm glad that it's still retaining the gender language, whereas the other Bibles, for example, NIV, can get quite lost in translation because of the modern, because they're catering towards the modern uh, translation of the Bible, of the language. For example, men and man, Will, re will remain as men and men and not people. And uh, I think it's gonna be great enough for me. For, I mean, it goes without saying, right? Every translation 
will have their own pros and cons. Not every translation, almost all translations are not perfect. There's no perfect translation and it's up to us to work on it. And we'll see a few in a few more years or perhaps this is going to be rely, reliable enough for the next few years, next few decades. But there will always be another new translation that might be better than the previous one or that might be, you know, worse off than the previous one. So anyway, you can also go into much detail. You can research it online itself. But after consulting, after reviewing a lot of reviews, after reading a lot of reviews, sorry, and after talking to friends and preachers, I think they have recommended me this particular translation and I'm going to pour my heart out and read it and enjoy it. And uh, anyway, if you're still here, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well during this tough time that we're going through, all of us. I hope you're living life responsibly. And uh, make sure you take care of yourself and your family. And have a great week. Thank you so much for watching my review video once again. You take care of yourself. Bye.